Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's quick fix. So last week we were doing some uh, painting with salt and I thought actually what would be really handy is to make yourself a little set of swatches of watercolour cards that showed you the effects of when you play around with some fun techniques. So what we're doing today is we're going to create a few swatch cards. So I've got some salt to start us off, which I'm just going to sprinkle over the top of this card and I'm going to very carefully put it to one side. The next card I'm going to do, I'm going to use Payne's Grey on all of them. I'm just using a nice big uh, size 12 brush putting a wash on in the same way each time and this time I've got some bubble wrap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully press it on and then I am going to pull it off and that's the first one that we can see you press it on pull it off and it doesn't do a huge amount so what we're going to do is I'm going to press it on and we're going to leave it there and let it dry and see what happens. The next one I'm going to try is cling film. So this is the little bit of cling wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch it up a little bit and I'm going to place it on top of my watercolour and put that to one side. It's just really nice then that I've got all these swatches in my watercolour kit and if I'm ever thinking ooh I'd love to be able to create XYZ like for example a few weeks ago I was painting some flowers and using that white pencil crayon to create a bit of a resistance a bit of a relief to create some white flowers and I've now got that in my kit now the next one I'm going to do is a bit of tin foil so I'm just going to scrunch that up and place that on because I don't really know what that one's going to do but I just think it might be quite interesting. Place that one there and then I've got one more for you. So for this card here I actually painted some thick and textured strokes of white acrylic paint and so it's left me with a textured uh, surface to paint watercolour onto so it's a little bit of a different approach but I'm just going to paint my wash on over the top because this looks pretty cool as well okay so we just need everything to dry now and then we can look at the results and here are the results I must say the tinfoil didn't sort of quite do all that much but that's cool it's good to know um but yeah we've got the textured white here i really love that effect i think that's really interesting the salt is one i'm aware of it's really fun bubble wrap and, and cling film give that really interesting kind of texture that, that would might be really interesting for mountain ranges or seas and oceans um yeah so now i've got all these little uh, test cards that I can hold on to and quick reference. Um, I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you again next time. Bye!